broke off a little wooden soft handle. So just wrap it up with the uh, inner tube and use some copper I had as pins. I like having the inner tube, uh, what do you call it? And the pins sticking out, makes for a good grip. The scabbard was cracked, so I had to cover it too with an inner tube. Which made it not easy to slide into a belt. So that's why I had to get the frog. And the frog has ripped too, so I kind of retied it. So I was watching watching uh, live action, and you know how the every swordsman, they're always holding swords like this when they open them? No, don't do that. Don't hold it by the lip. You gotta hold it down a little bit because if you do that, you'll get sword bites. And all them cuts all over your fingers. You don't want that. Uh -uh. So, instead of holding it up here, like they do in the movies and in the TV, where you're gonna get your whole freaking, all of this is gonna be sliced up. You get, as soon as you pull this out, fucking man, uh, if it's like this, as soon as you pull it out like this, you're gonna cut all of this deep. I've done it. Don't do it. So hold it down here, please. That way, if you pull it out, and you put it back, your hand is not in danger. Because if my hand was up here when I did either of those, I would have sliced it terribly. And Skyler asked me, why is your blade so dirty and old? I said, because I use it. It's like my bankai. But... I've broken a couple of these already, so a couple of few. But I've only cut my hand a couple of times, opening the sword because I don't hold it up here. I at least hold it a couple of inches away. Tip. <laughs>